2020 has been a year of disruption with the COVID pandemic and its responses having huge impacts on health, economies and societies everywhere, revealing cracks in the systems and assumptions that underlie our conventional models of development. COVID has had very uneven impacts across place, class, gender, ethnicity, highlighting the intersecting inequities and injustices that are also key 2020 trends, called out so strongly by actions around the death of George Floyd in the US. COVID has also highlighted our fragile relationships with environments and non-human natures, the unsustainability of our dominant economic energy and food systems, and the structural problems that underpin ongoing climate change and biodiversity loss. These big crises only briefly paused as the pandemic locked down economic life. And the pandemic crisis has interlocked in this sense with crises of climate, of conflict and of democracy, highlighting a state of chronic disruption really in established orders, both global and local. And 2020 has also seen though, an unprecedented focus on science and evidence to drive response and policy, but also really importantly, vital debates about the roles of multiple disciplines and multiple forms of knowledge and the important politics of science advice amidst really extreme uncertainties. So looking ahead, I think 2021 will continue to be dominated by the pandemic and its fallout. This is going to include ongoing economic and social and health challenges, but also some key opportunities, not just to build back better, as people are saying, but also for some fundamental rethinking of development. The first challenge is to recognize once and for all development's universality. It has to mean positive change for everyone everywhere. Second, we're forced, I think, to rethink conventional models of economic growth towards a much stronger focus on equity and on resilience, emphases that are seen in the Human Development Report just published on the Anthropocene. Third, to build on some of the solidarity shown in the pandemic locally and globally, we need to look to foster a new politics of mutual solidarity and care. Above all, I think COVID-19 demonstrates that we face an uncertain future where anticipation of and resilience to major shocks needs to become the core problematic of development studies and practice. And where mainstream approaches have so often been top down and rigid and oriented towards narrow goals, post COVID-19 development has to have a much more radically transformative, egalitarian and inclusive knowledge and politics at its core. These are going to be critical emphases in a year in 2021 that will see major global summits on climate change at COP26, on economies at the G7 and on food systems later in the year. These provide vital opportunities to re-emphasize the connections between sustainability, resilience and justice in a world of disruption and for researchers, policymakers and practitioners to mobilize together with renewed vigor to address global challenges that affect us all.